Hi, Andrea here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use GetResponse to create an email automation. So a little bit of background story. I have a product that sells on the internet. It's a digital product and it's delivered through GetResponse after PayPal payment. So there is this integration with the PayPal, GetResponse PayPal, it works really, really well. Uh, someday I will make a video about that. So if you haven't subscribed yet, do subscribe right now so you don't miss that video but uh, the point here is that when people pay on PayPal they are automatically registered on GetResponse and they receive their an email with the link to their download now some of these people they don't open the email immediately and then they I think forget and what I want to do, I want to create an automation that will send another email to those people that didn't click the link in the first place. I'm gonna make this automation here and you'll be watching. So you're gonna learn something. So if you want to try automation for yourself, uh, you need to have an account, of course, on GetResponse. And if you don't have an account, you can use this link up here to get your own account. It's a seven days trial, free trial. You need no credit card whatsoever, totally free, and you will be redirected to the sign up page. Okay, it's very easy. Now let's move on and make this automation. So the automation will be linked to this uh, list here. And this list uh, has 234 people on it. So this product has been sold 234 times as it costs $39, that's quite a bunch of money. Not bad. So what we want to do here is to go on automation. So automation, you see I have a bunch of automations here running. Now what we do, we create a new automation. They're called workflow in GetResponse. So create workflow. Okay, here you have several possibilities for creating an automation, but I will just build one from scratch. So you can click here or here, start. What I get is an empty automation. So the first thing you want to do is give the automation a proper name. And so you need to use some naming convention because these are always listed alphabetically. So if you don't use proper names, you won't find it when you have a hundred. Okay, and this, I, I need to run this automation when people subscribe to the list, okay? They buy on PayPal, they are subscribed to the list, and in that moment, the automation will, will start. So, subscribe to any list via any method. This is wrong, so I double click, and I want them to be subscribed to a particular list, which is this one here, okay? any method that's fine so next thing i'm gonna do i i will decide what happened next so i want to wait for some time say 24 hours so basic here i wait you take this block you bring it here and you go here and we wait for one day and one hour and this thing is going out every day and run multiple times no this will run only once so we leave it like this so this is a delay of 25 hours so 25 hours after they received the, the first email we'll check if they opened it and if they click the link okay so now we connect these two okay put it nicely now what we want to do next was the message open that's a question yeah any newsletter is open now we have to configure to configure this so the message that is going out is an autoresponder and the autoresponder email now we find it is uh, uh, this well I hope it is this Again, naming is very important because if you don't name things properly, you won't find them. Okay, so yeah. But you have a preview here of the email. So yeah, I know that this is the correct one. Again, doesn't run multiple time. When to assume the condition was met. 
and like, after one day yeah that's what we want to do okay now we know if the email was opened but again I'm more interested not in the email open I'm interested to know if they click the link or not right yeah so this has to be changed so uh, let's say link clicked so this is the one I want to use then again autoresponder I have to pick a specific message no a specific link from a specific message there are two links uh, into this email one is to a Facebook group and the other is to the actual product so I will just select this this is to the product so if and I, I remove this one here I don't need it put this here okay then what to do if they clicked and what to do if they didn't click so if they clicked already I don't want to do anything if they didn't click I want to send a message so let's link this select a message to send now I don't have a message that didn't create it yet so here you have automation drafts and, and the thing that you have to create this message before because otherwise you can't send it actually you can take a message that you already have and then you can edit it okay so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take the autoresponder message and we're gonna take the message that we are sending out the first time and you see copy as automation message and uh, language yes is the same keep it and uh, so apply this will be now copied as automation message and we have to edit it so in this message we will tell them what to do we sent them an email they didn't click the download link and we resend it again okay next I want to check if they have clicked the link to the Facebook group because we offer them to sign up to a closed a private Facebook group and I want them to get there so we can keep the conversation going and it acts like social proof so we really need people to join that group and many of them just don't do it I don't know why maybe they don't don't, don't they forget so this email is to remind them that if they haven't checked out the group in, in the first uh, in the first place they should do that right so again link clicked and put it here and this is uh, autoresponder a specific link this one here and we take this Facebook group okay so now the question is how do I link this to that now the automation goes straight down I cannot link it like for example from here because there is already a link what I can do is that I need to add a delay because if the, that if this email goes out I don't want this email to go out immediately so I don't wait one day I will just wait one hour so here it's zero and here will be one okay and it is like this but I'm wondering if I can do this oh yes I can so you see what happens now now what I did and I'm, I'm trying to make it look pretty which yeah a little better so we wait one hour we send we check if they click the first link the one with the product and if they didn't we send out uh, an email telling them hey you go click the link then we wait for another hour and we check the other link and if they didn't click that link we will send out another email here boom and this email will tell them to click the link for the Facebook group okay so either they come from this way or this way they will always receive the second email so send a message this again was from autoresponder select the message it was this one uh, yeah same list okay basically the automation is kind of ready 
yeah so I will just save and exit now I will go in automation messages so here what happened is that the get response duplicated the message uh, twice but actually I have it only once so yeah this is a little bit disappointing how it works I think it's better to create the messages first and then jump into the automation anyway now what I'm gonna do I'm just clicking on it I'm going to edit the text and then I will duplicate it yeah so it's gonna need a bit of time So make sure everything is okay. Then I will edit the text real quick. Okay, so this is pretty neat and short. Uh, we want to go to the next step oh, I have to fix this so here HTML to plane then you have to edit this thing that it's readable always do that Okay, now I have this as recent. I'm gonna go in the workflow again, make another copy of the original message and edit it. I go down here, double click. And here I pick autoresponder and I take this 100 question guide Facebook group that I just created. Apply. Boom. Now you have it there. Okay. All I have to do is save and publish. And now it's live. Awesome. So you see, that's not that difficult to create an automation and get response. The most difficult part is not the logic, it's not the, the workflow itself, it is the creation and handling of the messages. I think get response can do a better job if, if it would be possible to edit the messages to access the editor directly from the workflow. Uh, editor that would be really really handy I hope that we'll do something in this sense in the future okay that's it for this video if you don't have an account yet uh, remember here is the link to get your own and do do test well have fun with it because it's really a lot of fun and uh, it's money I mean if you make a product and you have traffic you have your email list and you can serve these people it brings money okay so go do some homework set up your account and start working and making money